area. Let's head over now to Port Lavaca. Yeah, it's about halfway between here and Corpus. Let's uh, get to meteorologist Reynolds Wolf with the Weather Channel. That's right, coming to you from Port Lavaca. Port Lavaca rests roughly 130 miles to the southwest of downtown Houston. And this morning, it has been pure tranquility. We've had a few light showers in the area, but really a trade off off in the distance of just beautiful, brilliant colors and gray skies. Quite the trade off and quite the contrast compared to what we're going to see in the coming hours and certainly in the coming days. Now, what we can anticipate here could be some heavy rainfall, some damaging and destructive winds, widespread power outages certainly going to be possible. And with its surge, that could range more in the neighborhood of two to three feet. And of course, that brings its own set of problems and uh, endeavors, no doubt, as we go forward over the next several days. This is a place that has had a storied history when it comes to tropical systems. And one of the worst was back in September 11th of 1961, when you had Hurricane Carla that made its way on shore. Uh, you had, again, a lot of destruction in the area, water rising in a tremendous way, heavy rainfall too. And then on top of that, you had actually tornadoes. In fact, 18 different tornadoes were confirmed across the region. So these are all the threats that happened in the past and may soon be happening right here in this region once again. Uh, my gosh, in terms of stir surge though, too, more recent memories, 2018, of course, we had Hurricane Harvey that affected much of Houston in this area, brought up to six feet of storm surge right in the downtown area. I can tell you the people we've spoken with, they're prepared the best they possibly can. If there is a war order given to evacuate, they're going to heed those and move farther inland to a safer zone. Let's send it back to you in the studio.